Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Heroes. It's Jake. And I'm Nick. We're here for episode two of our series, One Man's Trash. And after getting that PC running, we ran a benchmark with PC Mark and got a 1594. So now we're going to upgrade the RAM, the CPU, and the video card that came from this busted PC with the uh, fried motherboard. The first step in upgrading our build is removing some of the old parts, and the tools I'm going to use for that are a magnetic tray for holding screws, a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and some thermal compound. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this nasty IDE cable. To remove the RAM, press down on the clips on either side of the memory slots. To remove most stock Intel CPU coolers, you have to lift up on the pins on all four sides and then remove the cooler. To remove the motherboard from the tray, locate all of the annoyingly placed screws. Screw, screw, another screw, and another screw, 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 another screw, and another screw. Screw, screw, another screw, and another screw. Gently lift the motherboard up and away from the I.O. shield on the rear. Here's a quick look at the parts that we removed and the ones that we were able to salvage from the other computer. We have our original 2 gigs of DDR2 memory, which we'll be adding an additional 4 gigs of DDR2. We have our original NVIDIA 8400GS, which we're replacing with a Radeon HD6670. And we're going to replace the stock CPU cooler with an aftermarket one. And we're going to get rid of this ugly, fat IDE cable and replace it with a more slimmer, nicer looking cable. And now let's watch Nick put it together. Alright, here we're going to install the backplate for the new CPU cooler. Don't forget to uh, apply thermal paste like I almost did right there. All right, now we are going to install the motherboard back into the case. A magnetic screwdriver really helps in this situation. Here I am installing the connectors for the front power button, the reset button, the hard drive LED light, and the power LED light. When you're installing RAM onto your motherboard, apply even and firm pressure on both ends until you hear the click.
It pays to take your time when routing your cables because it can greatly improve your airflow inside of the case. Now let's benchmark it. In PC Mark, we scored a 1958. That's a 500 point gain from the last test we ran, which was 1594. We also ran a Furmark test, which came in at 648. If you guys like what you saw, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more series like this or help support creating new builds, you can support us on Patreon. We'll leave a link in the description. See ya. So rolling.